Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making some beautiful home decor using only Dollar Tree items, discount store, or things you have in your stash already. So let's get started. Hey guys, so today we're going to be making this candle holder. So I made this on one of my last shorts. I'm going to link it right here. It's the flower power pour and I'm going to use that to make a candle holder. So these are some of the things I'm using. I'm using this Acrology paint from the Dollar Tree. I either got that for free or I got it at the Dollar Tree. That's from Hobby Lobby. Um, that is from the Dollar Tree, some glue sticks, we got some flowers, that is from the Dollar Tree, that stencil, that candle top, I'm repurposing the candle top, okay, for this candle holder right here, I got the candle of the Dollar Tree, okay, I even got the tea lights of the Dollar Tree, and yes, the stencil, and everything is from either the Dollar Tree or from uh, my local discount store and the Hobby Lobby you can you know you can find one cheaper at a discount store the glue gun now most of these flowers I have in my stash already these are from Michaels these are from a local discount store they're only like a dollar ninety nine very very cheap I don't see them at the Dollar Tree, these flowers, but I got them at a local discount store. These are from AliExpress at like three or four dollars. And I got these from Gina from Gina Loves to Craft, I believe. So basically, this is a product. Oh, yes. And then the washi tape I had. You can use any tape, painter's tape for the stencil. So these are all items from the Dollar Tree discount stores, and we are going to repurpose this. And first thing we're going to do is the stenciling. I'm going to use some liquid text to make some really nice sharp edges. And then we are going to paint in the stencil, add the tea light holder, and add some flowers. So let's get started with the project. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put the stencil down and tape it with a washi tape. Now, this is a little sticky and tacky already, so it's pretty much staying still. We're going to use a little Liquitex medium, take it on our Dollar Tree stencil brush, the smaller one, and we are just going to fill in all the spaces of the butterflies and we're going to coat it really really well and if you're enjoying this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell that would be awesome i would love to have you here so we're going to continue just filling in all the spaces of the butterfly making sure the edges are nice and sharp it just it gives the paint something tacky to, uh, to lay down on and the stencils always come out better when I do this step first. So we're just going to fill in all the butterflies and then we are going to let it dry first and give it at least 15-20 minutes. You can put it in front of the fan if you want to speed up this um, drying process and then we are going to paint using our little dabber or dauber from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so we're going to use some paint next and we're going to let it dry. All right, so now we're going to take a brush. I'm using this brush that um, Stacey Nicole from Artsy Farty Lovers gave me. Um, I did have this. This is in my stash. Now we're just laying down the paint. I just want to try it with the paintbrush first and see how um, the paint, you know, goes over well with the stencil using the brush. And I'm going to switch over to the little um, tool, the paint tool. Okay, from the Dollar Tree. I just want to see if this works better. And actually, it works really, really well. It's blending beautifully. It's like a little blending tool. And I believe from the Dollar Tree, you get them uh, three in a pack. You get a large, medium, small. I believe this is the medium or small one. So I'm just layering the paint, that green, the blues, and the yellows. That lime green is really, really pretty. It's like a spring green. And I'm just going to 
blend it in and layer it one on top of the other until I get the colors that I want. And I'm just gonna fill in all of the butterflies and we are gonna let this dry and see how it comes out. I just love the blending tool. It really, really is working very, very well and it's very very smooth it's blending the paints perfectly and you know it's three for a dollar at the dollar tree and i think it's beautiful or you can use anything you have in your stash already and you can even use your finger if you want if you don't have any brushes or anything you can use your finger if you want okay but you don't have to spend a lot of money to make something beautiful for your home uh, I love repurposing things, and with my paint pours, I like doing something extra with them. Okay, so now this part is done, and we're going to let this all dry. All right, guys, so this is dry. It came out really, really nice. The edges was actually not as sharp as I wanted, but I actually like that. The wood made them a little softer, and I think that's beautiful with the butterflies. So I took one of the lids of another um, candle, and I actually used it as a little stand, and I hot glued that. So out of all these flowers, I chose these from Michael's. It is in my stash. So, and I chose those from my local discount store. So we're taking some Crafter Square um, glue, and we are going to hot glue this to the center of the painting. And we are going to go a little bit over some of the butterflies, but that's fine. There are plenty of butterflies there. We could put enough hot glue there. And we're going to put it in the center of this flower. And now it's up on the stand. I thought it was a really cute idea just to kind of pop it up a little bit on the stand. And there you go. You just press it down a little bit I'm gonna zoom in just press it down so it stays so we're gonna get another glue stick and we are going to start embellishing with some flowers before the candle the candle is last let's pop that in the hot glue gun is nice and hot and we are going to start hot gluing our flowers and I'm gonna put that right over there the whole um, because this is actually a wall hanging and I wanted to cover that. So I'm gonna take some more beautiful flowers, just put a few down and I'm gonna actually layer them. So I'm gonna take that one, put a little hot glue right in the center there, put it on that spot, press down. And we're gonna take some more and just layer them up. It's gonna keep on adding flowers until I like the effect it has. And there you go. That was one right in, on top of that one. I'm gonna get those little glue strings out of the way and press down. Just don't burn your fingers. Be careful. Put a little glue right there. Put that beautiful mint colored one down. And put a little more glue and put that peach one down right on top. Press it down really well. And there's that part. Get those glue strings out of there. And now I'm gonna take these flowers and I'm just gonna end it off with a little bit of glue and put those right in the center there as the last embellishment on the top. And we're gonna take the blue one for the bottom two. There's that. It has that cute little pearl in the center. That's why I like these little flowers. And I believe there were $1.99 or $2.59. And you get quite a bit of them. And they're really, really adorable. And you press down really well. Again, get those glue strings out of there. And that is it. And that is the project, guys. I love the way this came out. And we have one last step. Okay, so the last step, well, you guessed it. We're gonna light the candle, we're gonna get our tea light, and we are gonna light this beautiful table decor using only Dollar Tree discount store items or stuff you already have in your stash. This was so much fun to make. I actually love that. I love repurposing things, using things for other, 
you know reasons um i usually make wall hangings and i just wanted to do something for my table you know how guys how i love decorating my table for videos i really enjoyed using that stencil and those paints from the dollar tree are really really great so i hope that you enjoyed this as well you know any one of you guys can do this um, get some Dollar Tree paint and even the flower itself was from the Dollar Tree So I love that. I love making this. It was so much fun. It was relaxing Look how beautiful it came out. So and actually matches my nails as well So thank you guys so so much for watching today. I really appreciate you I hope that you enjoyed this and I would love it and I would love to know if you actually Try something like this for yourself. So don't don't forget to subscribe guys hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and i will see you in the next one bye